Hi everybody, welcome back to uh, us up here at the storage yard. It's a bit cold, it's a bit dark, and it's a bit, um, well, it's threatening to rain to be honest with you, so we'll make this one a quick one, I think. Um, today's subject is really aimed at people who are just starting off caravanning. And uh, the subject, as you probably worked out already, is how to level the caravan. Now, leveling the caravan is probably the most important task you need to get right when you arrive on site. The reason for that is you want to make sure that the appliances all work correctly, so things like the fridge won't work if they're not particularly level, and also the living experience as well in the caravan, you want to make sure you get right as well. Um, if you have the caravan not level, you know, it's not gonna make a very pleasant sleeping experience. Um, and if it's too high at the front or too low at the front, you're gonna have uh, things rolling backwards and forwards up and down the caravan. So when we level the caravan, what do we need to do? Well, there's two things we need to make sure we get right. First of all, we need to level across the van, so left to right. And then the second thing we need to do is level front to back. So let's have a look at how we achieve leveling left to right to start with. All right, so when we're leveling left to right, what are we actually talking about? Well, very simply, one wheel will need to be higher than the other. Now, in a moment, I'm gonna show you how we work out which side needs to raise up and which side needs to be lower. But basically, what we need to do is raise one tire above the other side. And there's a variety of different bits of equipment which we can use. You can even make stuff yourself. We use a ramp, like this one here, but you can also buy equipment which slots around the tire and you wind it up and it lifts the caravan up. And also you would have seen in one of our previous videos, we've got a hydraulic jack as well, which fits underneath the caravan. You can, to a certain degree, use that to level off your caravan as well. Um, you can also make things yourself just by using planks of wood. And uh, I've seen many people use planks of wood, uh, pieces of decking actually, which they've put holes through so they block together and you can drive up nice and steadily onto those. Now I mentioned about driving up onto the, uh, the equipment. Now there's a couple of ways you can do it. You can either use your tow car to literally pull your caravan onto the ramp, or you can use a motor mover. Um, and today we're gonna to use the motor mover simply because we're in the storage yard and it's a little bit convenient. When you level up, one of the big things you shouldn't ever do is reverse your caravan up onto a ramp or onto the blocks. Because when we reverse, if you remember, the overrun will kick in and you'll have no brakes. Now I use, as I've already shown you, I use this leveling block here. And this is a particularly good one for us because it also has, it also has a chock. And as you can see, it locks in place. So I drive up the caravan onto this and that fits in place like so. Right, so now that we've got all that sorted out, let's actually show you how we're gonna level the caravan left to right. And as I said, we're gonna use our motor mover. So the first task we need to do is engage the motor mover onto the caravan. Okay, so we've engaged the motor mover now onto the caravan. We've taken the uh, isolator switch and uh, switched on, so we're all ready to go. Now we need to do is move the caravan forward and work out where we are. Now, how do we know that we're level? Well, obviously, we need to use something like this. This is obviously a spirit level. Where do you put the spirit level in your caravan is a contentious issue, and lots of people tell you where to put them, but the truth of the matter is every single caravan every single make, every single age will be completely different. You will, with experience, learn where the best place is to put your spirit level. To start with, I recommend you buy yourself a nice big spirit level from the DIY center, put it across the caravan. The reason why you'll need a big one is to get over any dips or ridges in your flooring, and it averages out uh, the, the span of the floor. Place it across the floor of your caravan, and then read the bubble and see where it is. Now, lots of people say don't use the cabinets, and that is true because the cabinets not always are level, um, but I have, over the experience of this caravan in particular, I have learned that our kitchen cabinet and the top of the kitchen cabinet where the cooker is, is actually very, very level. And for the purposes of the, this video, we're gonna be using that one so that you can watch the change of angle in this spirit level. So let's nip inside and learn which side of the caravan we need to raise and which side needs to be lower. So as you can see, we've got the level here on the kitchen side, and as you can see here, we're quite far off to one side. 
But let's manipulate the level itself and work out which side needs to come up. If we continue to raise this side, you can see that the bubble isn't coming to the centre at all. But if we level this side up here, you can see the bubble comes into the centre. So that's telling us this side of the caravan needs to come up. So let's put the ramp underneath the tyre and drive the thing up. Give it a good tap when you install the ramp and that way you know that it's going to register straight away. Now you see that we've got a motor mover here and sometimes the motor movers are mounted a little bit lower and they can foul up on the ramp. But there's an easy trick to that and that is to literally wind the jockey wheel up on the front of the van to raise the front of the van up so you can get the ramp underneath. Perfect. I think you'll agree that is now spot on level left and right. So now we're level, all you need to do now is install a chock under the back of the wheel, like so. Roll it back a little bit and that's going to lock it in place perfectly. Now we need to do is put the handbrake on, release the uh, motor mover and then we can work out the level front to back. Okay, so we're almost done. We've leveled left to right now across the axle. Now what we need to do is level back to front. And again, we're going to use our spirit level that we have here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this in the door frame uh, on the ledge. That's why I bought this size, to be honest with you. That will fit now neatly across the door ledge and we can work out using exactly the same method as we did when we went left to right, whether we need to go up or down at the front to back. Usually, Angela helps me with this one. Um, she usually stands by the door and I'm winding the jockey wheel up and down and you can get the level pretty spot on. There are applications available for smartphones which shout out whether you're level or not and it, uh, it can be fairly uh, annoying to listen to but it does tell you pretty accurately whether your van is level or not. We've not used it so I won't give it a review just yet but usually there's two of us doing this routine um, and you can situate this wherever you find is a level position. And as I said before, you get to know your caravan and you get to know and understand where the most level part of your caravan actually is. So without further ado, let's place this in the door frame and work out whether we need to go up or down at the front and the back. So again, as you can see here, I've placed the spirit level on the uh, door frame and you can see that if I manipulate this again, you can see that if I raise the back of the caravan up here with my fingers, you can see that the bubble starts to appear in the, the middle there. So what that's telling me is the back needs to be higher than the front. So because I've got the jockey wheel at the front, what I can do is lower the caravan at the front and that will bring that bubble in place. Right, let's go and see what that's like. How are we looking? Oh, look at that, that's bot on. I was just coming back to check, but that's pretty spot on, I think you'll agree. So now with the left and the right, and the front and the back, this caravan is now level. All we need to do now is put down the corner steadies, and would you believe it, there is a trick to that as well. You might be tempted to rush out and buy yourself an electric drill with an attachment to go and put your steadies down. But if you're a newcomer, don't. Start off by using the hand winder, because you can get to feel where the caravan is supported. Now when we're levelling the caravan, we most certainly don't want to be using the corner steadies. They are, as the name dictates, corner steadies. They steady the van from the corners. The front corners on our caravan, for instance, the steadies are not even connected to the chassis. And if you try to level up your caravan using the steadies, well, the likelihood is that you're going to split the floor or do some damage to your caravan, perhaps even warp the floor of the van. So what you want to do is start off by using a hand winder and you can see where the pressure meets the floor to the caravan via the leg. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about. Now we'll just partially wound the leg down and as you can see here we've got a concrete base here. We've got a little foot pad on the bottom of the caravan as well and what I'm looking for now is for that to sit nice and square to the floor 
And as I'm winding it down, I'm going to start to feel some tension in the hand winder. The caravan may just raise up just a tiny amount, and about there. And that feels rock steady to me. And there we go. That's now properly supported here in the corner. And there we go guys, that is it. We are now level and the caravan is uh, settled and it's safe to enter and start work on the other services. So there's an important sanity check that we now need to perform to make sure that the caravan is level and to make sure that everything else is working okay. And that is to make yourself a cup of tea. You see, by using the kettle, you're proving that the gas is connected okay, the electric is working fine, the water is coming through the tap, and then of course you can use your cup of tea just to make sure that it is absolutely perfectly level. And uh, that's my advice to anybody who's starting off caravanning and needs to know how to level the caravan. Comments are obviously welcome down below. And until next week guys, we'll speak to you again soon. Take care now, bye bye.